Hey guys, um, I'm just here with some juice that I made. It's nice and dark green. <laughs> and um, I made this juice with Lintec. Terrible angle. And it didn't come out as juicified as I would have liked it. It it's like has a thicker consistency. Um, like with the blend tech, I, I don't know why, but you can't really juice. Like it doesn't come out like as liquefied. It comes out thick. So it's almost my like, like just having a smoothie. But they say to use ice cubes and some water, and I try that, and it still came out thick. So whatever, I still drank it. It's good. Just finished one, and I have two left. So it's great. But um, let me try to remember what I put in it like kale, spinach, strawberries, carrots, orange, uh, what else? I think that was it. I think. But yeah, if I remember, I'll leave it in the little um, inbox section below. But uh, yeah, and I also have some chili in the crock pot. So I'm waiting on that to finish, and I'll try to leave you the recipe, but um, maybe I'll shoot some video of it when it's done. If not, then I'll just shoot it next time. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and show you the juice that I'm making uh, with the blend tech and, well, juice slash smoothie, but whatever. And i um, try to have some more videos for you guys, and I try to do more have a little bit more time and uh yeah so i'll check in with you guys later bye good morning guys um i would say hi myself but i'm looking a little rough this morning so but i just wanted to show you guys that i'm making some pancakes on my new griddle just got this on amazon uh, a few days ago and i got these little heart things too to fill in your pancakes Fill this one up too much because it's like coming off to the sides. I try to scrape some off the best I could, but it didn't work out that well. But this one came out pretty nice, if I do say so myself. And have some regular ones on the side. But okay, so sorry, but my last video cut out. But um, my husband stepped in and made much better looking pancakes. Mine tasted better though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> But uh, his hearts came out much better than mine. And we put some, um, well, he put some vegan sausage on the grill. These came out nice. Got some grapes. So this is my breakfast plate. I can't show you what he has on the griddle right now because he has meat on there. You guys don't want to see that. But, uh, yeah, this is breakfast on my new griddle. I'm so excited. I love this thing. And he loves it, too. I finally got him to admit it. Yeah. He was hating at first, but he loves it. So, got a great new little thing to use to make breakfast, make stuff quicker. <laughs> and I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Hey guys. Um, sorry about this on my head, but I just sprayed in my hair and I didn't feel like having it out. But um, I wanted to show you what I found. Do you remember that recipe that I put on for the... Um, the lasagna and it called for the vegan alfredo sauce and I couldn't find it so I had to make it from scratch but I did find it now of course way after I found it at Sprouts this is the vegan vodka sauce but they do have the vegan alfredo sauce which is awesome because I can't wait to try both of them but um, tonight I'm, I'm trying the vegan vodka sauce and I'm gonna make it with some brown rice pasta from Trader Joe's and, uh, oh, and I have some Beyond Meat that I have marinating, Beyond Meat Chicken that I have marinating, and, um, I'll leave you the information about that in the description box, but I'm gonna cook that and then add it to the pasta and have chicken pasta with vegan, um, baka sauce. So, yeah, I'm excited. I finally found it, and they have it at Sprouts, which is random, because I couldn't find it at Whole Foods or anywhere else. But, um, 
Uh, yeah, I have water boiling. <laughs> and then I'm um, just, just waiting for that, and then I'll start cooking it. And this time, I promise, I will let you see um, how it turns out afterwards. But yeah, let's start cooking. All right, guys, it's all done. So I'm going to show you. Mmm, looks delicious. Can't wait to try it. I added some um, fresh spinach on top of the pasta. And then I put on the vodka sauce and, uh, well, and the match meat uh, chicken, or well, fake chicken. And I added some black pepper and some oregano. Can we get it nice and close? So, I'm going to take a bite of this. If I can scoop it up. All right, here I go. It's pretty good. Mm. It's different. It's different than um the va vegan. Well, it's different than vodka sauce that I'm used to, but. Still really good. It's creamy. Got a nice tomato flavor. Yeah, I can get used to this. This is delicious. So I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> Not in front of you. That's just me. But um, yeah, I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, uh, we are on our way to Chipotle. I'm on the hunt for their new sofritas. To uh, Chipotle's new tofu mixture that they're adding in their burritos and tacos and stuff. And I heard now they're in all of the Southern California locations, so hopefully the one that I go to has it. They said that they all of them have it, but I don't know, I'm a little skeptical, but we'll see. the sofritas yay and we got like so excited <laughs> that we went on the wrong side and tried to order we were just a mess we looked like tourists it was terrible but i'm excited to try it we're walking back to the car hurry up and getting home so i can eat this and um i'll try to show you like a bite or two yay sofrita so i have the sofritas here Oh, I'm vlogging. <laughs> We're vlogging. No, it's fine. Huh? No, it's fine. Yeah, they're watching the game. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> I'm eating because I'm starving. Just trying to get a close up here for you guys. Yeah. So I just took my first bite. It's good. It's, it has like a um a meat flavor and you can't really tell it's uh it's tofu it's really good it has like a nice spice to it but i have hot sauce just in case but look at this this is a problem you should never run out of hot sauce <laughs> so i have to stock up soon but yeah this is really good Let's get another bite for you Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to talk um, a little bit more about the Sofritas Burrito. I didn't get a chance to talk about it much yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yes, because I was starving and all I wanted to do was eat and I didn't give like full description of it. But um, I said um, yesterday that it reminded me like it had a meat flavor but what I meant to say is like it had more of like those meatless crumbles that you can use for like taco meat and stuff that's what it reminded me of some people have said that it um, tastes a lot like chorizo and um, I, I would have to agree with that like it has that like spicy flavor and but it's not too spicy I mean some people say it's too much but like I love hot sauce, so <laughs> a little spice does not turn me away. But um, 
it's, I don't know, like, it didn't, like, affect my burrito that much. Like, it was really good. Like, I love the spice and the flavor, but it wasn't, like, overwhelming. It wasn't like, ah, oh my gosh, it's so fritas, it's taking over. It was, like, had a nice balance of flavor, and it fit in with the burrito just fine. Like, I think I'll order it from now on, and if I don't, I won't miss it. And if I do, it's not going to be, like, that's the only thing I taste. Like, it was really delicious, <laughs> and I'm so glad that they finally have it, because it's just, like, a little extra something that um, non-meat eaters want I mean and like and it's pretty good so I had my <laughs> I ordered two burritos chubs and I had my second one today and um I had like added different stuff to it just to be different so it's not the same thing but um it was just as good as the other one and yeah I think that's like a great new item that they have at Chipotle I'm glad they have it and I'll be ordering it from now on so yeah thumbs up